we it, we sound like maybe we're preaching or or talking to the physios and the PTs out there, but I mean, if you're if you're a traditional chiropractor, that's kind of more higher volume and short short visits. This still applies to you because if you have if you have an individual who cannot flex, who can't get out of low back extension, you, I wouldn't be surprised that that's the reason why your lumbar mobilizations actually irritate the person. You know what I mean? You bring that, you bring that top knee up to, to adjust them for a reason, which is to just unlock those facets a little bit, allow some gapping to occur. So if you're not, you know, you're not getting any good you know, popping sound because you're not really getting a good mobilization. They kind of give you this, Ugh, was that supposed to be good kind of face? You know, is that supposed to help? You might have an individual that you can't set up correctly. You can't even put them in the right position because they're in this pattern. I mean, this is, I see this all the time. I see this in uh, the cervical spine as well. You got very reversed curves or flat spines. And I'll, I'll see somebody adjust them or, and I, and I just see the wincing that they make. And it's like, you, you have to, you have to allow the joints to be in a certain position to accept those mobilizations. So I just, just for, for the chiros out there that are listening, you know, how to apply this, it, okay. it's, there's still ways through your glasses, your lens that you're looking through to take this and apply it. So I just wanted to throw yeah. one out there. And I'll, and I'll throw some shade at the PTs and physios really quick and maybe we'll wrap it up after this but if you've ever done some manual therapy or stretching to the low back and then it gets worse uh or you you've opened up a hip flexor or something like that and the back has gotten worse this is why bobby earlier was saying maybe you need to inhibit something first or maybe via an antagonist agonist antagonist first just kind of taking away the tone because sometimes they have that uh, let's say spinal extensor or QL or hip flexor tone because that is how they move. And if you just straight kick out that crutch and don't give them anything else, which is what Bobby's saying in terms of inhibit something first to inhibit that the, the let's say those paraspinals that right QL left QL and giving them some opposition via the abs, you're not just taking away the crutch of the tension in the back, but you're giving them the opposition which is the reason why that tension is there. So if you've ever kind of loosened up a back or foam rolled the back or lacrosse ball or something like that, and things get worse, it's very quickly time to talk about agonists, antagonists, and maybe fire up some abs. Um, because I've, I've definitely been guilty of that. I've loosened up the back, it just feels so tight, and they're like, all of a sudden, I'm way worse. They don't have any other strategies to move. And I think this goes back to Bobby's, like, like he said, and I've said four times now, Get some inhibition via via agonist antagonist first, and just another good strategy to to kind of go about these things. 